Hey, Crypto Pipto, this is Don! Don, Kryptonium, the only one! Juno Emperor, the Juno Validator, marching towards the number one spot on the Juno Network. That's it. Delegate to me if you want. Like this video before even watching this. Comment on this video with your opinions. And today we have two proposals to cover, okay? Um, one proposal that I want to cover is Prop 31 on Juno Network. This is this one is quite boring, but we have more interesting proposal, which is raw DAO proposal. And I want to say what could go with it and why I would vote yes. Okay. Uh, it's it's about to to be no, but I, I hope you can you can listen because I, I think there 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 could be some cool things coming um up from this. So Rodao, important for me to mention, okay, I will be straight up with you. I'm I'm not the member of the Rodao and some would say, hey, you have no um no voting rights. Yes, I have no voting rights, but I can speak of it. The reason why I'm not in the Rodao is because I don't feel incentivized enough. The governance is not enough. And with this proposal, I think there could be the way out for you to make value of the raw better. And and you listen to me. So so the proposal on the raw DAO is to remo remove 40 day unbonding period for liquidity providers on JunoSwap. By the way, uh, I don't do it for free. You know, I do validator on Juno and Cosmos and and Nomic. So uh, I want your money. Money, 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 money. So go going back to the um, removing 14 day unbonding period, most of the votes, um, th despite very low quorum, because it's only 14%, which which tells you, hey, um, this is this is the bear market, only one day left. We'll see if, if you agree with this. People vote no, because they say this is the risk you take in order to get rewards, right? And this is considering the, the Juno swap, the um you know the, the the exchange as of now there is no value to the raw tokens if and there was one proposal so i said you can incentivize because the tokens of raw simply are responsible for governance and decision making of the juno swap the native the centralized exchange for the for the juno network but there is no benefits they get from it the same way that there is no benefits essentially from holding most of the uh, DAO Ethereum tokens, right? But you can change it. So the problem with it, if you could maybe share 50% of swap fees or even 30% of swap fees, which would be around 0.1% uh, of the swap fees towards the DAO and distribute this between the DAO holders, that would be some utility, right? It's difficult to do it now with 14 days bonding period because you would have to start over. So everyone would lose 14 days rewards. But that will be not the case if, if you would not have this 14 day unbonding period. So first of all, like I guess people voting no because they want this premium, right? You lock up for longer, that's better because those who lock feel uh, they are better than others. Maybe they take the risk that others do not take. And uh, also, it, it's all Im important because you know you see there is uh, four competing indexes, which is Osmosis with flexible lockup. But of course, most people go for fourteen days, so it's the same. Sieve chain no lockup, Crescent no lockup, and Juno Juno swap fourteen days lockup. With with Juno swap making it like the least really interesting of the indexes. And I think if we go with no lockup and provide some extra utility here, you see with this. Um, tax for the raw token holders that that would be absolutely beautiful thing you know because it could go forward and establish the path forward for other DAO tokens and, and you can easily count it right if, if that would be 0.1 percent you can go less you can you can do more you know and um juno swap will be growing uh of course most important to, most important pool is with the with the stable coin, but there will be much more projects. That will be Quicksilver. There will be Pupmos and many others. And you know, JunoSwap will expand 
in trading volume. In case we would have 1 billion in trading volume, that would 0.1% would give you um, 1 million in, in, in trading fees that could be distributed in the, in the token holders. If you get it monthly, if you get 10 billion, that would be 10 million distributed monthly uh, to the DAO tokens. And uh, considering the ecosystem will grow, worth to explore this. So this is my take, you know, it's it's something that really can't really be done to the old pools. So just just explore this idea, okay? My advice to you. My advices are great, obviously. Two, proposal number 31 on the Juno network, Don Kryptonium voted yes. Because if I didn't say that I did, did I, did I? A validator on Juno. And I will probably never get support of the developer funds that so many enjoy. So that's why I need your support. H how much, how much self-advertisement I can push in this video. So this proposal is about increasing uh, the deposit required for the for for the voting. Uh, for now, it was five hundred Juno, and the increase is to thousand Juno which should be increased considering the Juno, the, the value of Juno dropped, you know, so probably it should be adjusted anyway. And some people say it's uh, too high that the regular user, let's say who have 10 Juno or 100 Juno will not be able to start proposal um, simply because it, it's too much. It would be too much with 500, but may, maybe if, you know, even if someone has 800 or 1,000, they will not use all of that to start the proposal. And this is as the result of spam proposal and those proposals, um, unfortunately, if you don't have big deposit, will happen. So this is hopefully to change it. 1,000 Juno, $3,000. Someone, if someone was to lose $3,000, they will not make the proposals, you know, especially if they are German or German speaking because they love the money. They just, they, they tip you like two euro for 200 euro meal, you know? It's enough. Sorry, German friends, neighbors. Um, not only German friends, okay? All German speaking, you're all the same. Um, so, so this hopefully to change it. And my belief is, and I think everyone already knows this, solution will come. Uh, this will be the step, it's a lot of Juno, but there will be probably props in the future, the tooling that will allow for community-driven initiative, even if you have one Juno, you can start, hey, this is my prop, look, this is cool prop, like, but I have only one Juno. You can add to the pool for us to, um, to reach 1,000 Juno and make this proposal happen. Something like this doesn't exist, but I think it would be really cool if that would exist. Let's hope. Let's hope it really happen. So this is two proposals I wanted to I wanted to discuss. Uh, this prop obviously is gonna pass. It's like ninety nine percent yes. Why would even I talk about this? It's not important. This is much more important. It's it's change for you, DAO token holders. Um, so with that, done. The only one king ruler, the biggest person of Juno is here. Send me to number one as the Juno validator. Let them, let them be angry. <laughs> okay, don't crypt on your mouth.